It was challenging. I mean, I was nervous the first time, you know, I used to shed my freaking ass off to go play that gig with those guys because I know how heavy they are, you know? Well, I'm definitely out of my comfort zone on some of that music, on a lot of it. And I surprise myself by the risks that I take and, and, and by the way that everyone around me makes me feel in order to take those risks. Everyone that's playing in that in that group, we're all side men, and we're, we're, we we all work for other people, and we, we have to learn music, and you have to play it this way, and you have to gauge whether or not to take this risk, you know. But there, you, we basically can play whatever, and and that's precious. When you start off playing a music like this, you, you, like I say, it can be very intimidating and you, you kind of want everything to be perfect. But then I think as you, you grow and you become more, more mature in the music, you, you, you allow yourself to let go. When mistakes are made or, you know, something happens, it's, it's ex like extremely forgiving. It's like, oh, this is what it is, you know? It's all good, man. There's no such thing as a wrong chord in jazz. The, the, the wrong chord in jazz is the one that you're playing because you practiced it too much. Because you're not then following, you're not following your heart. More than an area of the record store, jazz is kind of a philosophy, you know, it's a way of life. Is that life is filled with kind of unpredictable shifts and then Playing jazz is a good practice in learning how to negotiate the changes as they come. It feels more like something out of the 20s. It's so perfect is happening in the hash bar because it's like has this like kind of illicit speakeasy underground thing.